Hi uh, guys, uh, new video and this video is all about the new X Racer Quadrant uh, BLLE 32, um, 32 bits. So this is the new ESCs from FPV model. Um, the same uh, style as the older ones I reviewed some time ago, I think around two months or three months ago. I reviewed this type of ESCs and the most interesting thing about them is the fact that you can install them in a 4-in-1 uh, configuration and you can install them uh, in a standard configuration, one ESC per arm. So very interesting ESC because most of the uh, problems for, uh, that come for, from uh, all-in-one ESC or 4-in-1 ESC is uh, the problem that you break an arm and the pads um, you break an arm and the, the wires uh, pull the pads and then you break or you uh, rip the pad off so you cannot solder the motor again uh, with the CSEs you can uh, solder it again because you can uh, at least replace one ESC uh, separately you don't need to replace uh, the 4-in-1 uh, ESC, you can only replace uh, only one if you need. So that's the best thing about the ESCs. Very interesting design, very clever. And uh, about the specs, it's the specs um, of uh, all of the BLL 32. It, it supports D-Shot uh, 1200. Um, supports at, uh, 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 um, rates up to 32 kHz and it's uh, 35 amps as you can see uh, rated up to 6S so this is a, a very powerful ESC can hold up some uh, serious current and as you can see in the ESC the design is pretty much similar um, as the older ones uh, but they now include one current sensor you can see here in the bottom let's just take this off make some zoom here as you can see the current sensor is in the bottom let's just check the weight Three point one grams seems uh, good. It's not uh, heavy SC. Let's just check the measurements. Okay. Twenty one by 20, 24 millimeters, 21 by 24, okay, I will now just show you how the CSCs uh, go together in a 4-in-1 configuration, let me just open this boxes, this plastic cases, so I can show you. So it's, a, it's just like this, we need two more, sorry for the noise, but I need to put this together, as you can see already have three and we need, we need one more and it's here. So. They all stuck together like this and you bridge them together in the middle. You have all these pads to bridge together. As you can see this is positive, they are all positive and this is negative here. 
negative here and here so uh, your wires to the battery they come from here these two pads each side you can use it all the standard motors um, motor uh, wiring comes from these three pads on each ESE each ESE has the three pads and the the, the motor uh, pad comes from here you can see the motors come from the motor signal come f uh, input it's here this four uh, holes little holes the ground stays the same ground you can connect it here about the telemetry I'm not sure where is the plug-in but yeah it should be around something from these pads that will provide you telemetry I'm not sure which which pad is which because FPV model does not um, does not talk about them but I think yeah, yeah they, they don't talk about anything about the, the, the telemetry configuration but it should be something about these pads doesn't matter now because uh, this is not working right now the telemetry in the first firmware as far as i know it's not working now so only in the near future i'm sure fpv model will um, include that information in their page so you can use the the telemetry to use the, the included current sensors on the escs uh, this way you can um, have in real time um, the information about uh, how, how much current the ES, each ESE is drawing, uh, the RPM from the motor, a bit like the KISS ESEs. The KISS ESE provided all of that right now and it's very inst interesting because you can easily check how is the status of your motors. Um, uh, at each time so it's interesting because you can log all of that in your black box and if you have any problem with any motor you can uh, check that and that will be very handy I will install the CSEs on my my machine and I will fly them and let you know after uh, if you have any questions uh, leave them below in the comment section Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.